folks, um, one of the Tamil video viewers asked some very, very fundamental questions about the whole thing, about the gods, the eternal unknown, and human beings, etc., etc. I'm going to answer all those questions. These are extremely important questions. I'm sure most of you will have these questions. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, not many English-speaking um, viewers are watching my videos. Most of the folks are from um, Tamil Nadu or uh, somewhere in the whole world uh, who can speak, uh, understand uh, Tamil language. <clears throat> But I think probably things will change in the future and more and more English speaking folks will watch my video. That's why I continue to publish my videos in English also. Now, before I answer those questions, I'm going to describe the whole thing, the complete picture of the whole creation um, in a nutshell, um, so that you can have a bigger picture, complete big, a bigger picture. So please uh, listen to this uh, video very carefully till the end. Probably this will be a long video. Now, first of all, you are all there uh, in this world, in the waking state, and you are seeing this world as I've been telling you, and you, the feeling of you, the highness, is in the seventh center of your body, seventh chakra. And um, the lower five um, chakras or your five senses, it has some other additional um, capabilities, but uh, I'm not going to go into the details at this point. And the sixth center is mainly your mental uh, functionality. That's where your mind is. Now, these six centers, the energies in these six centers, they are your instruments. You are using your five senses plus your mind uh, to experience this world. Um, now, as I said um, in an earlier video, I think it's called You Are Forever. When you die, this instrument, this whole body is separated from you and you become one with um, the golden light which is surrounding your body. And the thing that separates you uh, from the uh, body, uh, that is the eyeness from the body, the instruments, is this um, um, red light. Now, um, this state, state, that is you, the eyeness being one with this golden light, you will see at that time that the golden light is surrounding you like a sea. Um, so this state is what is called Jivatma in uh, Hindu tradition. Jivatma means, Jiva means life principle and Atma means a drop or a ray from the white uh, light or white sea of white light. Now, the, so the Jiva, you will be one with this golden light and then you will be separated uh, um, from the golden light. By the way, the the, in, in some of the Indian movies, um, they show that when at the time of death, um, you will be coming out like a wave going up, uh, and that color is the golden color, and that's really the fact. So, in fact, what happens is you are seventh, and at the top level, seventh chapter will be open you will escape through that hole uh, to the beyond the body and that's what happens. Okay, now, at some point, this uh, your association with the golden light will be also taken out. You will be, you, you will be just purely um, a white light that is surrounding you. You will no longer see the golden light. You will see 
a white light at that point you at, the, at that point you are purely an atma or a drop from the um, white light see a white light uh, as opposed to the previous state which is jivatma the one mixed with the life principle here you are without life and um, and that that state is called atma um, or just a drop from the sea of white light now the next state state um, is very 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 difficult most of you will end up there and then you'll vanish with the white light you you'll not exist afterwards but um, the, the 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 previous state or the next state for your ascension and uh, that is when you are ascending from the state of the human being is the one with the three eyes uh, through which uh, the three divine lights emanate now it is you remember this it is you who is here suffering um, watching through the, uh, the all the six uh, instruments five senses plus the uh, mind it is that you you are you are watching the golden light completely around you and that time it's called jivatma and it is you who is surrounded by the white light and I, you are called that state is called atma and it is you who has the three divine uh, uh, who uh, has the three eyes and then watching through the three eyes generate the three divine lights and when those that or those three instruments the three eyes are destroyed you will be without the lights without those three lights you and the initial separation called walk the uh, the word of god or whatever it is in the christian tradition walk um, the initial separation you will be with that and it is that one which gave you the ignorance of having birth and death and it pointed to pointing to the darkness and saying don't uh, wake him up or you will eat me then i'll become dead and so on and so on and uh, at some point uh, you and the world will become uh, one and then at that point you will be surrounded it is the same you which is watching who is watching this whole world will be at that time will be surrounded by totally the darkness total total darkness that is the mind of the eternal unknown just like the yogis when they see your mind they will see the darkness a small piece floating in your subtle body this this um this eternal unknown's mind will be totally uh, dark total darkness and that darkness is uh, what is in Hindu tradition called Kali or there are several names in various parts of uh, India in the Hindu tradition and that one also vanishes at that time and that is the state uh, this that is the state of eternal, eternal unknown that is when the when it when the and that that the eternal darkness surrounding it vanishes uh, that one becomes one and that what is called the parashakti uh, becomes one with the parmasivam and that is a state which is called the eternal and then and that is a descriptionless um, um, birthless deathless and uh, and you can be in that state but you can never know about it because to know you need to have an instrument or to see you have to have an instrument uh, you have to be uh, to be aware you have to have this instrument of awareness but if none of those instruments exist there is nothing you can say about that eternal unknown that's why it's called it is indescribable and it is eternal unknown now folks from this you must have a clear picture though you may not be able to realize to the realize this at this level um, i i have that experience right at this moment when i talk to you i have this body and um, 
even though i have this body and talking to you i am also the eternal one unknown i know that i am surrounded by that uh, eternal darkness over, over which all this dream takes place um so you you are like me but you are you haven't experienced it that's why you are unable to experience the whole, all the states of uh, you right from the eternal unknown down to you are being in the uh, in in this waking state with your body uh, you are unable to put them all together you are unable to experience all of them together because you don't have that experience now with that whole complete picture let me um, um, state all the questions that that uh, viewer in uh, tamil video asked me his first question was of course what is jivatma atma paramatma and so on i already answered paramatma is the one which is the whole of white light atma is the one just a drop from the white light jivatma is the one the the word the atma mixed with the life principle so you all understand this um uh, now with his first question is why is this eternal unknown dreaming and causing all this uh, uh, creation and creating all the chaos um the first first when the whole thing started the first state is it want it wanted to know who am i uh the who is this uh, what is this energy which puts that in the uh, eternal unknown's mind is this parashakti that is the first uh, separation and then it puts the idea of who am i and then the moment that happens they they, they cannot be in that eternal unknown state they they get separated and they, the the word the, uh, the walk or the word of god separates and then in order to protect its separation or the creation it uh, says that don't wake up that uh, um dark uh, dark one um, that is to just to protect the creation okay now so it, the the it, it, it afterwards when the whole creation um, uh, is destroyed then the experience of the whole creation is left in the eternal unknown's mind and that becomes the basis for the next creation this this uh, destruction creation creation um, alternatively um, take place and this is for ever um and, and so that so his question was why it's doing it because it's nature that is the only explanation explanation nothing uh, can be in a, uh, um, a complete state it always changes um, so the best answer the real answer correct answer is it is its nature uh, of the eternal unknown to keep creating or dreaming all these things and going back and destroying this and going back to deep sleep and so on and so on so is um, the other question is that um, my my experiences did do you experience uh, uh, the state of being the eternal unknown how did you experience how can you experience that because that one is um, uh, without change without birth and death it the only way that you can experience this it's by the way let me tell you it's extremely difficult for you to experience this um so don't uh, don't have the idea that uh, you will be able to experience this um, even many many divine avatars have not experienced this um, i'm not boasting myself but um, if you carefully uh, watch their account they will uh, they they will not be able to connect the all the way from the eternal unknown down to the human being down to the human being the way that time i'm uh, doing it right now um, so um so the 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 question is uh, um they how did they experience this eternal unknown it is it is by at, 
by the experience of getting out of that state. Uh, that is the only way. And, and also by going back to that state, uh, that is the only way uh, you can experience it. But most of the people, even the uh, the eternal unknowns, the first creation that is Adi Shiva and Adi Shakti, which teaches, uh, uh, which imposes the uh, ignorance of birth and death, is afraid of that darkness. Uh, that is exactly the reason why you are all afraid of this darkness. Now, um, um, that is the answer to his other question. And uh, um, the next question is this uh, three uh, time intervals, that is the past, present, and the future, are they, uh, are these three states, are there for everything, um, including the, the eternal unknown? The eternal unknown does not have that status, uh, that state of um, the past, present, and the future. But everything else has this notion of past, present, and future, and that is why they die. Um, they are destroyed. Uh, the only, only indestructible uh, is this eternal unknown that doesn't have the um, state of um, the past and present and the future. In the past and the present and future of the first created entity, and that is Adi Shiva and Adi Shakti, is destroyed, then that the result is that eternal unknown. So that is the eternal unknown, and it is the basic platform over which every dream, everything, the whole creation and destruction, whole lives uh, are appearing and disappearing. Um, his next question was, uh, um, if uh, we all have become from the uh, darkness uh, um, of this eternal unknown, why people are afraid of this darkness? As I told you, the reason why you are afraid of the darkness is because um, you are afraid that uh, that will be your death. That is, that darkness will eat you. That is exactly why I told you in an earlier video that there is a Gayatri Mandra where um, they are reciting repeatedly that bring us from the eternal dark, from the darkness to the light. And also the um, published a video in which I clearly state that this darkness and light are opposites. And when you understand this opposite deeply, then this, then you are beyond that darkness and light. And that is the state of the eternal unknown. The, 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 the darkness and the, uh, and, and the light so the opposites vanish, and when that and those things vanish, you are in that state of the eternal unknown, without being in the light, without being in the darkness, and beyond all of them. Okay, the, so that the, you all will be attracted towards the light because um, you are more human beings as an individual are born in the white light it is light that's why you are all attracted towards the light not towards the uh, darkness and the other question that he asked me is um, um you know the, the the many yogis are talking about this kundalini yoga in which people raise their kundalini shakti from the bottom first chakra all the way up to the seventh chakra where uh, just the one uh, the pure highness is, is this what uh, you experienced in your first uh, spiritual experience? And no, in the first experience, uh, I did not raise the Kundalini Shakti from the first chakra to the uh, seventh chakra and then opened the uh, seventh chakra at the top of uh, the subtle body's uh, structure. Um, uh, but it just the other way. Uh, the first that one was what that uh, seven chakras opened, then this golden light entered through that inside my body, 
went all the way from the seventh chakra down to the first chakra and cleaned all the all the all the dust dusts and things that i inherited uh, from my um, in my birth from because of my birth in this world so in my my experience is different that came from the top to the bottom not from the bar i didn't raise this from the bottom first chakra to the top chakra by the way i also warned in my early videos that never attempt to raise your uh, the kundalini shakti from the first chakra to the seventh chakra because if those uh, six chakras have dusts or ignorances uh you will uh, get into a lot of um, uh, trouble just like like for example you will be extremely you will have extreme desire for sex and uh, sometimes and also you will have the extreme wish to dominate everything and everybody just like hitler and so on and so forth and also uh, if you open your sixth chakra without that being cleaned you will uh, you will see all kinds of ghosts and all the fears and other things uh, you will be depressed and so on because you have some ignorance in your sixth chakra so never never open uh, never raise the kundalini from bottom um, to the top level the best way to is the healthiest way the safest way is to remove all your ignorances immediately you will be in the lap of the golden light which is surrounding you or the red light surrounding you so that is the best way to um, experience the divinity that is in the next higher level of divinity um so that that's what i want to talk to you folks um so if you have more questions please let me know uh, without any hesitation i will answer i will respond to them um that is the aim of this uh, video folks i'll talk to you uh, in a future video on another important topic